mighty sons of Hercules once thundered through the years. These men of steel could never feel the curse of a coward's fears. The mighty sons of Hercules were men as men should be. They burned with dreams, then turned their dreams into history. centuries in olden times there lived the sons of Hercules, heroes supreme. They roamed the earth righting wrongs, helping the weak and oppressed, and seeking adventure. They were the mightiest of mortal men. One of them was Maxus. It is of his deeds we tell now, of his struggle with the Fire Monster. Ida, we'll make our cabin the prettiest in the village. Of course we will. Will it be ready for the day of our marriage, Ida? The sun, our god, must appear three times. We have plenty of time, Ryan. When your blood mingles with mine, I'll be the happiest girl under the sun. <laughs> My name. I am the son of a chief. You have saved me. And you and your tribe have the right to command us. I belong to no tribe, Idar. And I have no wish to rule you. As I live alone, I am a free man. Idar, don't let him go away. We could all be safe if only he'd stay with us. Please, stay with us. I thank you, but I must go. I am needed somewhere else. I don't know where or how. It is my destiny. Farewell. May your sun god give you all possible happiness in this valley. Wait! Wait! Just tell us your name. It's Maxis, son of Hercules. What a strange man, Ida. Farewell!
one thing I can do. Break a piece of wood! Us, I can't. You don't need me any longer, my friend. You, Idar, with your woman, Raya, will be the leader of the first free people on Earth. You will be happy. And maybe the children of your children will be happy, too. But before I go, may I give you a word of advice? Don't forget to defend yourselves against wild animals, monsters, but most of all, against men. Moa, you will live here in peace and serenity and unite the two tribes. I have a hard road to follow, so it's better I meet my fate alone. Goodbye, Moa. Hercules! 